Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, the speeds of two trains are in the ratio of 7 is to 9. They are moving in the opposite directions on parallel tracks. The first train crosses a pole in 4 seconds, whereas the second train crosses the pole in 6 seconds. Find the time taken by the trains to cross each other completely. So what's the given question? There are two trains and the two trains are in the ratio of 7 is to 9. The speeds of the trains are in the ratio of 7 is to 9 and there is a pole and they are moving in opposite directions it is given. So one train will be moving like this and the second train will be moving like this. They are moving in the opposite directions and there is a pole. So somewhere in between there is a pole is standing and the first train will be crossing the pole in 4 seconds and the second train will be crossing the same pole in 6 seconds. If that is the case, that is an independent reference point pole and the time taken by the trains to cross the pole are given 4 second and 6 second respectively. So if that is the case, what is the time taken by the trains to cross each other completely? When the trains will be crossing each other, what is the time taken for that? So the speeds of the train ratio is also given 7 is to 9. So how to do this question? So if you are proceeding in the traditional manner, this will be a very lengthy question. It is not appropriate for competitive exams. So we can study a shortcut here. For these kind of questions, which kind of questions? The speeds ratio is given. Ratio of the speeds. We know the ratio of the speeds of the train. And let the ratio of the speeds of the trains be x is to y ratio of speeds and also the time taken by the trains to cross a stationary object is given two times we are having two times t1 and t2 and t1 and t2 are the times taken to cross some some stationary object time taken to cross a stationary object by the trains t1 is the time taken by one train and t2 is the time taken by the second train. If that is the case, the time taken for the trains to cross each other completely will be equal to t1x plus t2y <coughs> divided by x plus y. The time taken to cross each other completely will be equal to t1x plus t2x divided by x plus y. So this is a shortcut formula. We are having the ratio of the speeds x is to y and t1 and t2 are the times taken to cross a stationary object. Then the time taken for the trains to cross each other completely will be equal to t1x plus t2y divided by x plus y. So what we will be getting here let us apply this t1 is equal to 4 and t2 is equal to 6 and what is x and y x is equal to 7 ratio ratio of the speeds is equal to x is to y so x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 9 so the time taken will be equal to 4 into 7 plus 6 into 9 divided by 7 plus 9 7 plus 9 is equal to 16 7 4s are 28 and 6 9s are 54, 28 plus 54 is equal to 82. So it will be 82 by 16 seconds which will be equal to 5 1 by 8 seconds. Now question number 2. The speeds of two trains are in the ratio 3 is to 4. They are going in opposite directions along parallel, tra parallel tracks. If each takes 4 seconds to cross a telegraph post, Find the time taken by the trains to cross each other completely. So what is the given question? We are having the speeds of two trains. Ratio of the speeds of two trains are given. And also the time taken by the two trains to cross a telegraph post are given. The time taken by the two trains to cross a stationary object are given. Each train is taking 4 seconds. We have to find out the time taken by the trains to cross each other completely. So here what is happening? The two trains are taking the same time to cross a stationary object. So let us apply the formula. Shortcut formula is time taken to cross each other completely will be equal to T1x plus T2y divided by x plus y. 
where x is to y is the ratio of the speeds and t1 and t2 are the times taken by the trains to cross a stationary object. But here we know t1 is equal to t2 is equal to t. So, here we can write t x plus t y divided by x plus y. So, we will be getting t into x plus y divided by x plus y is equal to t. So, what is our inference here? When two trains are taking the same time to cross a stationary object that is t1 equal to t2 is equal to t means independent of the ratio of the speeds the time taken by the trains to cross each other completely will be equal to t you need not do any calculation you can very well tell here the time taken by the trains to cross each other completely will be equal to 4 seconds. So, when you are using this formula also you will be getting 4 seconds, but by reading this question itself you should be able to write the time taken for trains to cross each other completely will be 4 seconds, because both the trains are taking the same time to cross a stationary object. Independent of the ratio of the speeds, the time taken to cross the stationary object will be the time taken by the trains to cross each other completely. So, for when this kind of questions come, you need not even apply the shortcut formula, you can very well tell the time taken by the trains to cross each other completely will be equal to the time taken by the trains to cross the stationary object, both the times are same. So, that time will be the time taken by the trains to cross each other completely. So, here the answer is 4 seconds. Now, question number 3. Two trains are moving in the opposite directions on parallel tracks at the speeds of 48 km per hour and 72 km per hour respectively. The first train passes a telegraph post in 5 seconds, whereas the second train passes the post in 6 seconds. Find the time taken by the trains to cross each other completely. So, here also two trains are moving in opposite directions. The speeds of the trains are given and the times taken by the trains to cross a stationary object here it is telegraph post it is given 5 seconds and 6 seconds respectively one train is taking 5 seconds to cross a post and the second train is taking 6 seconds to cross the post we have to find the time taken by the trains to cross each other completely so we are having the shortcut formula the time taken by the trains to cross each other completely will be equal to t1x plus t2y divided by x plus y and what is this x and y? x and y are the ratio of the speeds. The ratio of the speeds of the trains is x is to y. So, here we here the ratio is not given but we are having the speeds itself. So, you have to find out the ratio first in order to find out x and y. So, x is to y is equal to 48 is to 72. So, 24 twos are 48 and 24 threes are 72. So, the ratio of the speeds will be 2 is to 3. So, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. Then remaining information you are having x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3, t1 is equal to 5 and t2 equal to 6. So, what will be the time taken for the trains to cross each other completely? it will be equal to 5 into 2 plus 6 into 3 divided by 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So, 5 twos are 10, 10 plus 6 threes are 18, 18 plus 10 is 28. So, 28 divided by 5 which is equal to 5 3 by 5 seconds. So, this is the time taken by the two trains to cross each other completely. Here the ratio is not given directly. So, you need not uh, you need not think that or you cannot apply the formula here. You just find out the ratio of the speeds. If the ratio of the speeds is known, you can apply this formula. T time taken by the trains to cross each other completely will be equal to T1x plus T2y divided by x plus y. You by heart this formula, it is very very important. This question, it can be solved within seconds if you know this formula. Thank you for watching.